interspecies. I stopped to talk with the turtle by the river, hidden in the grass, basking in the summer sun beside the flowing boulders. She is such a tease, that fluttering butterfly, just beyond the reach of the kitten's frantic paws and darting, razor-sharp claws. Expectations. That I have survived keeps taking me by surprise. When one more friend dies, I check to see if I'm here, standing in a field that's sear. Tenacious. Regrets are futile. You cannot redo the past. Weeds in the garden, though they have been firmly grasped and uprooted, reappear. Summerscape. Long oak tree shadows. Sunrise over the valley. It's already hot. A sudden wind stirs the dust. Languid buzzards in the sky. Summerscape. Playing on the beach, toes curled into the wet sand, one hand shades her eyes. Memories rise with the sun. Years have passed since she was young. Kindness. My grandmother's voice speaking kindly from the past, present in my mind. Wander in the fields of time. The now is overrated. Communication. The ghost that I saw down by the swift river's bank spoke to me with thanks because, he said, I saw him, not just dank and dismal air. Realms. The grove of redwoods, silent, in ancient stillness, soothing and serene. I once saw a goddess there, eyes of night and starlight hair. Thinking about a close friend who died a long time ago. The, day, the days pile up and the seasons come and go. The moons wax and wane, years continuously flow. How long will I remember? When my time has come, when my last day has arrived, I will pause amazed that for a few brief moments I sojourned in this cosmos. It is time to die. It is time for endless rest. I have no regrets. Mountains vanish into dust. Galaxies dance in the void. It's a mystery, the reason for life and death. I can't explain it, but the sound of falling rain soothes the fear and calms the pain.